Hello and welcome to what is going to be a fun five uh, roll hut here. I've got five rolls from that mom and pa penny box that I have and I am going to be going through these and uh, also at the same time this one drops there's going to be another five rolls, a second five rolls that will be going to members only as well. So if you're a member don't forget to check that one out as well and see what we got. And so real quick for our first 10 rolls we went through, we had two wheat cents, the earliest being uh, Indian head cent being an 1899, had one of those 72 wheats, earliest date found is 1927. Um, we did have a 55 and a 54, nice shiny red blazers there, both out of Denver. And then we had a couple other things. We did get a Finnig, uh, four, Canadian, uh, four Canadian cents, 1943 being the oldest. We did hit a silver dime, I believe it was in 1943, I didn't write it down here. And then we had a few other BU coins of interest there. So that was the first 10 rolls, lots of awesome finds. I can't wait to get into more of these rolls and see what else we see. Intro, take 473. Cue music. Cue coins. All right, awesome. Now pick them up, I'm not rich. So I'm not sure how I'm going to do this, but I'm gonna put four aside. I figured I'd open up the rolls. I'm gonna do them one at a time. We will see what we see. I'll probably pull out all the wheat scents and anything that stands out. And then I will do a hunt for varieties off camera because that is what takes the longest time. There we got a 1992 Denver on that one end. And on the other end, looks like we have a 1990, 1986 out of Denver. All right, so let's pour this out and see what we have in this roll. All right, so I'm gonna take a quick look here. I see we got one wheat scent back here. So let's pull that one out. This one has some pretty good details on it. 1941 S. Oh, that's some pretty strong details on a 41. Cool. We'll uh, put that up there. Looks like I have a four in here, a Canadian. 1955. I believe this is the third year that Elizabeth, Queen Elizabeth II was on the coins. So that is pretty cool. It looks like it might be a slight uh, misaligned, a little bit more on this side than on that side there. Um, but that's just a slight slight misalignment of the dye insert 1955 there are some varieties and stuff to look for on these like the no shoulder fold version I believe it's 53 54 and 55 you can find those on 53 and 55 are more desirable um, but I'll have to look at my list for those per se next up 1946 there's another weedy that is another wheat scent. We'll slide the Canadian down there. Let's see what else do we see here. It's the 70s. It's a 1950. 1950. Is that a 50 or 56? Let's find out. 1950 out of Denver. Nice. All right. Three wheat scents. We got a 1958 out of Denver. Very cool. All right, that's four wheat cents in this first roll. Oh, look at this blazing red, 1955. How about that? That is a blazing red scent. Surfaces aren't perfect, but that is a very, very nice red scent. Being very careful to hold it by the edges, but that is a awesome find. Nice blazing red wheat scent there. Those don't come across very often, but it's always nice when you do. All right, that looks like all the wheat scents in this roll. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a look at the rest of these coins and see what I see. Um, we got one more wheat scent here. This one is really tore up. I didn't even notice it at first. 1943, that's a still scent. We got ourselves a still scent. How about that? A stilly, man, that is a very corroded 
still sent, but that is awesome. Awesome find. It didn't look like it was, looked like it was just a very corroded scent. I didn't even notice it had the weed air until I was uh, glancing at it one more time there. All right, so I'll be back if I find anything really cool. Otherwise, if I find any varieties, I'll wrap those up at the end of the roll before we open the next one. Okay, no finds in the rest of the coins there. So we got all those wheat scents. I did put a 2009 up here. It's in nice shape, and I've got a couple of nice ones over here. I'm going to check against my, uh, my personal album there and see what we got. Uh, let's see. I got two Memorial Enders. So let's check this second roll out and see what we got here. Now these uh, rolls are mostly Denver's because this is a uh, came from uh, west of the Mississippi. So I already see a couple wheat scents here. First one, 1955 out of Denver. 55 looks a little smooshed. And then oh 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 wow. Oh, wow. That is a Canadian. Five cents from 1881. Holy cow. Holy cow. That is Queen Victoria. It has a hole in it, so someone probably put this on a pendant or something. But that, wow. I'm pretty sure this is a silver, I think it's sterling silver. Wow, holy cow, holy cow, that is a find there, wow. Um, I noticed next to it, we had a wheat scent, and there's another wheat scent, 1958 out of Denver there. Let's go ahead and get through the rest of these. There's another wheat scent, 1951 out of Denver. And then another wheat scent here. 1952 out of Denver. And, whew, man, that is a, holy cow. Holy cow, I can't believe we found that in one of these rolls. 1955 in, out of Denver, a pretty good, pretty good shape there. Um, so let's see, what else do we have in here? I'll we'll move this over. That, wow, oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Oh, oh, look at this. 1942 Canadian dime. That's King George. That is a silver dime. Wow. Holy cow. Holy cow. What a roll here. Wow. Oh, wow. There's some. This. Wow. I don't believe it. 1946. Out of Philly that time. 2004. We got a stunning. 2009 out of Denver there. It has some spots on it, but that is a gorgeous shape. I'm gonna put it up there with the other one. Let's just keep, keep let's just get all these uh, old coins out of this roll and then we'll take another look at stuff. Holy cow, there's another 2009. Another wheat scent, another wheat scent. 1939, that's our oldest one of the hunt so far. Another two more wheat scents it looks like. We have a 1953, and right behind it, we have a 1942. Nice, and that is all for the wheats. So I got some stuff to check here, but holy cow. Silver Canadian dye from 1942. And probably, this is probably gonna be the best find of the box here. 1881 five cent piece Canadian that is Queen Victoria wow I had to look up details on the coin feel free to pause here if you would like and check out the details for yourself this one is a sterling silver 9.25 coin very cool it does have a hole in it and it was probably worn as a necklace again but that is awesome holy cow that's the oldest coin I've, uh, we've found in the box so far. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. So let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten wheat cents. 
10 wheat cents from that roll and a couple of silvers, old silvers too. Wow, whoo, wow. Okay, no finds up there in any of the coins. I haven't checked the wheat cents yet. I'm gonna go through all those at the end and, and check for varieties before we wrap up. Um, I did hit a 1969S, but it is not the double die, unfortunately. So, <laughs> Uh, we're gonna move on. Um, that was that was an awesome roll. Holy cow! That's gonna be very very hard to beat. Probably won't be able to beat it at all. It's probably going to be the best roll of the box. Got a wheat cylinder in this roll. This is roll number three and a memorial cylinder on the other end. Let's tump this out and see what we got. All right, pretty nice 1973 there. Probably set that aside and check it against my album. Let's see what we have. 1944, nice. I have a mint mark? No, just kind of had a look to it. Got another blazing 1960 out of Denver. That looks like a large date and I'm not seeing anything going on with it. But I will double check that for any type of um, repunch mint marks or what have you. 1958 out of Denver. Nice. And then a couple cents behind it, we have another wheat set. 1945. All right. Oh, wow. Got a blazing red 1954 out of Denver. That is gorgeous. I'll set that up there. Um, let's try and handle it by the edges, and I'm trying not to touch it very much. But uh, you can safely handle coins by the edges as long as you're careful. Um, but the nicer coins, you always want to try to get uh, extra gloves or something. I just don't have any right here with me. 1937 out of. Philly is our next one. That's I, that's now our oldest wheat set. Um, let's see. I'm off screen. It looks like I'm off screen. Let me move stuff over. Looks like we got two more wheat sets plus the ender. 1952 out of San Francisco. Nice. 1940 out of Philly. Nice. Looks like it's got some scratching on it there and some random places and our ender 1955 out of Denver cool all right so two four six seven eight wheat cents and a blazing red 1954 I'm gonna set that up there gently all right so eight wheat cents in that roll very cool finding a blazer that is awesome let me go through the rest of these, see if there's any errors and varieties. A lot of them are Denver, so there are stuff to look through, look for, but not as much as there is on the Phillies uh, on the scents here. So let me just flip through these, see what I can see, and then we'll check out the next roll. Okay, no varieties or anything to find in that roll, so we'll move on to the next one. Wow, these rolls have been amazing. 2004 on one end and Memorial on the other. Let's pour this out and see what we got in this roll. So, first week set out of the roll 1944. And uh, I got back to back Wheaties here. Next one 1952. And then a 1957. Oh, we got another back to back weedy. 1950. This one has some pretty good details. Pretty good surfaces. 1951, that's a really nice 1951. It's a uh, brown or maybe slightly red brown, but that's pretty good. That's a pretty good weed scent overall. That's the ender. Um, 
Um, we got proof. We got proof. 1974S proof. That is pretty. Got some circulation on it. Got some issues going on, but that has the telltale signs of a proof. That's mirror fields there. Very cool. All right, let's move this over. We got a couple more finds in here. Looks like we have a Canadian back here, but we will get to that. We got another Weedy, 1952S. That one's kind of tore up. Not any there. Next one. Oh, pretty worn, 1940. Not the most worn penny I've ever seen, but it's got some circulation on it, definitely. Somewhere to it. We got another nice shiny 1960 out of Denver. We'll set it over there for chicken. Looks like we got a wheat scent and then a Canadian 1958. And then Canadian Queen Elizabeth 1969. Nice. And that is all for the wheat scents and oddities out of this roll. Very cool. Let's see. Two, four, six, eight. Eight wheat cents, a proof, and a Canadian. Nice. Very cool. So we'll check the rest of this stuff here, and we'll be right back with the next roll. Okay. Final roll. Man, this hunt has been awesome, these five rolls. Can't wait to get into the next five rolls there. we got a 95 on that end. And a 2003 on that end. So let's pull it out and see what's in the middle. Some awesome rolls. I see some wheat scents. See some wheat scents. That one came out crazy. But let's check these wheat scents out in this roll. We have a 1952 out of San Francisco. A 1958 out of Denver. Let's see, what else do we have here? Yep, that's one. 1939, another 30s. Cool, cool. All right, this one looks like one. 1946 out of San Francisco. Nice. Nice. Another quite nice 2009 out of Denver. This one does have a few more. Um, carbon spots on it and such but it's still in nice condition I'm gonna put it up here for now um, that one probably won't upgrade my albums but uh, I'll put it up there nonetheless to give it a look 1956 out of Denver let's see what else do we see in this roll Ooh, we got a pretty nice red 1964 out of Denver that's pretty nice. I'm going to set it over here. Um, looks like we got a few more. One, two, three, four. Maybe a few more than four. Wheat cents left. <clears throat> Those are 46. 1944. 1942 out of San Francisco. Nice. Got some scratching down there at the bottom. Then, let's see, next one, there was like four or five right in a row there. 1944 out of San Francisco. Nice, nice, nice. Um, nope, yep, that's one. 1946 out of San Francisco. And then, 1961 out of Denver. Oh, that's not a wheat cent. I'm just looking at random coins now. I'm just looking at random coins. 1947 out of Denver. All right. That looks like all the wheat cents in here. Nope, I was wrong. They had one that snuck past me. One more snuck past me. 1942. That was a Philly. Nice. Now that looks like all the wheat cents out of here. All right, I'll we'll check through these, but let's give a count on the wheat cents in this roll. Two, four, six, eight, 10, 12. 
12 wheat cents in that roll. Wow, that is a stack of wheats. Stack of wheats from these five rolls, very cool. Um, I think 12 is the most we got in a roll, followed by 10. Okay, so let me get through the rest of these. Check these for errors and varieties, and we'll give a final breakdown. I'll probably, and then I'll check all the wheat cents for errors and varieties too. Well, we are finished with this hunt, and what a stack of finds we have here. We try to break these down. I'm going to try to hold the camera. Sorry if it, if I uh, shake a little bit here. Um, but we had 35 wheat cents in this hunt. Let's uh, zoom in and break down these hunt, these finds. Had the uh, proof, 1974 proof. This 1881, five cent. Um, I don't think I've ever seen one of these in prison. Uh, so I'll have to look up some information on that, I believe. Back at around that time, the coins were sterling silver from Canada, so 92.5%, 92.5% silver, I believe, is what sterling is. We got a 1942 silver nickel from Canada. Um, we did have that very corroded, still sent there. Um, and then we had just a massive amount of other wheat scents. Down here, I don't know if you can quite see it, there's some outline here of what looks like um, Lincoln's bust there on the reverse. This one may be just worn funny, or it could be a bit of a die clash that has worn down. So that is interesting. I figured I'd set it aside as an interesting find. It and it is the 46 out of San Francisco. Um, 1959, 1969, uh, 55 and 69 Canadians. Two nice red cents of 54 Denver. That one will upgrade my album. I don't know about the 55. I just upgraded that one and I've set this nice 1951 here because that might upgrade the album as well. Other than that, I do have a few up here in nice condition. I'm going to check against the, my, my album here. But that is all for the finds. What an awesome hunt. This was all kinds of awesome stuff in these rolls. Um, so this is the first 15 rolls out of 50. So I do have 35 more. I got five more I'm going to be going through for the members next. So if you're a member, do check, uh, check out and see if you can see that video out there. Um, and again, I do plan on dropping both these videos at the same time. And uh, if you're not a member, don't worry. I don't want you to feel like you have to join for a membership. But uh, for that second video, you will have to wait a little bit. But uh, if you would like, I'll have some links up here for the first 10 rolls, two different links. One's a, uh, a full live stream. The other one, I edited out everything, just put the finds there for y'all. Um, so feel free to uh, check those out if you want to see those rolls in action. All right, well, I do hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, hit the thumbs up, helps me out. Drop a comment down below. Let me know what you thought. Thank you very much for watching, everyone. Have a great day. Here we go with that 1954 to Denver. I have a pretty nice worn one in there, so that is going to upgrade there, definitely. And I want to give a very special thank you to all the viewers who have signed up as members. Thank you very much for going above and beyond to help support the channel. I very, very much appreciate it. If anyone is interested in becoming a member, feel free to check out the link below. Again, thank you very much for your support.